okay, is the line through points P and Q perpendicular to the line through points R and S? Explain. Well, in order for us to know whether they're perpendicular, we need to calculate their slopes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say M equals... Actually, let me first write the points that we're using for this first one is negative 5 comma 4 and negative 13 comma 9. And let's label them as x1, y1, x2, y2. And then we will now do the slope formula. And I will write it with parentheses so that we can fill in those values. And let's fill it in. Okay, y2, 9, minus y1, 4, over x2, negative 13, minus x1, negative 5. And if we calculate that out, 9 minus 4 is 5, over negative 13, minus negative 5 is the same as negative 13, plus 5, and so that's negative 8. Okay, so this line has a slope of negative 8. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, 5 over negative 8. And we'll examine that in a second after calculating this slope of this other point, uh, this other line through these two points. The two points are 2 comma negative 2 and 7 comma 6. So let's label them as x1 and y1, x2, oops, sorry about that, y2, and now we're going to write our slope formula, which is y2 minus y1. over x2 minus x1. You always start by writing the formula. You always do that. Just like you, uh, in, when you're solving equations, you start by writing the original equation. You always start by writing the formula down. And again, I've said this in another video, um, if you want to, if you want to become a mathematician, you need to do what mathematicians do. And that's what mathematicians do. They write down the original equation, the original formula first. So y2, 6, minus y1, negative 2, over x2, 7, minus x1, 2. Okay. Calculating this out, we get... 6 minus negative 2 is the same as 6 plus 2. 8 over 7 minus 2, 5. Okay, so we've got a slope of 8 over 5. Okay, and we will box it. Okay, now we are going to examine the two slopes and we're going to see what we get. Okay. The two slopes are opposite reciprocals, meaning if you took one and you flipped it over and changed the sign, you would get the other one, okay? Um, and so we do know that these lines are parallel, or perpendicular, rather. And so what do we have for an answer? It says, uh, are the lines perpendicular? No. Can't be that, right? Slopes are not opposite reciprocals. They actually are. Uh, no, the slopes are not equal. That would be for parallel lines. Yes, their slopes are equal. No, nope, that's not what we're dealing with. That's for parallel lines. And it says, yes, their slopes have a product of negative 1. And that is what opposite reciprocals do. When you multiply them together, you get negative 1. So let's take these two numbers. Let's take these two slopes, okay? 5 over negative 8 or negative 5 over 8. It's the same way. Times the other slope. 8 over 5. Okay, if we were to multiply these across, we would get negative 40 over 40, or simplifying that, negative 1. Okay, 
yes, their slopes of a product is negative one because when we have two values that are opposite reciprocals, multiplying them together will give you a product of negative one. And you should look at uh, the values here. Like look at look at two slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other and figure out why it's always negative one, right? You have this number on the top and the other number on the uh, from the bottom here over here. So we always are going to get that 5 times 8, 40, and 8 times 5, 40. And of course, there's a negative here making the whole thing negative. So you're going to get a, the negative some number over that, that number positively. OK? Uh, that's, that's it. Uh, you calculate the slopes and you compare them. You can either just look at them and say, are they opposite reciprocals? And if you want to, you can multiply the two numbers together and it should equal negative one if they're perpendicular.